Now I went out and shot 92 my first try. 18 holes, left hand with three clubs. Okay, now. Well, let me stop you. How far did the ball off the tee go? 150 yards. Well, that's that ball right there. 150 yards. If you had a full 100 yard hole, you'd hit another shot 150 yards, and you got 100 yards to the green. So you should be able to hit the green from 100 yards. So the worst he can make is. But if you take a driver out and hit the trees and the bushes, you're unplayable, or you shank the next one, and you've got six going for you in a heartbeat. Look, here's the deal. You can go and hit whatever you want to hit, but I'm going to take my 7-iron, and I'm going to come out, and I'd have my 7-iron and my sand wedge and my putter. Whoops, sorry. Can't talk left-handed. I'm not quite that good left-handed yet. I have to actually think. But I'll take that. Yeah, I'm good compared to what I can do. I'll take that, and you guys hit whatever you want to hit. If your tee shot's better than my tee shot, you can play it. If you're not better than mine, you go find your own fucking ball, because I'm tired of looking for your golf ball. You play his ball. And bring it to mine. Now, most of corporate America, do you know how many times they would play their tee shot over mine in an 18-hole round? Once or twice. <laughs> They play there because my seven iron in the middle of the fairway was 90 90 percent of the time better than their drivers. Okay, so if all of you went out and you took your seven iron and your sandwich and your putter and you went and played nine holes, you would scare yourself what you shoot because you don't lose the ball and you're not trying to hit it far. You're trying to hit it where you can put it in position. So now you're learning course management. Exactly. Everybody talks about course management, how difficult it is. I said, no, it isn't. State of mind. The problem is we give you a full set and you walk out there and you go, God, I got 235 over that bunker. <laughs> Last year at the range, one time, <laughs> I got it over that thing. Okay, well, I know I can do this. So you're taking a one in a hundred shot. And, and you a miss high risk shot. Right, and you miss it and you go, I can't believe I hit that. <laughs> I go, I can't believe you didn't. Or that you, I can't believe that you would have not. That's who you are. Okay, so why did you even try that shot? Well, I know I can make it. Well, I, I'm not questioning that you can, but how many tries would it take? You only get one try out there. The other thing I would ask all of you to do when you practice, and I noticed Bob was doing this today, and he does it, here, and I think it's instinctive more than anything. I watched Jack do this. They hit a ball, it's almost impossible for him, for me to just rake a ball in and for him to just hurry up and hit another one. You know why? Because you rake, you give them a ball and they hit it, and they watch it, and they analyze it, they feel what happened or didn't happen, and they go through this process of, okay, so if I want to change that, what am I going to do? So they put time between each shot. You go hit a whole pyramid of balls, you say, I practiced a lot today. I go, well, what did you get out of it? <laughs>